All right, here we are, and I got some progress made with explosive damage waves. So check this out. When you when I drop a grenade here, it's gonna do this sort of like wave of energy. And that's its damage. Um, let's slow down time a little bit and see that in like slow mo. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> So, and also what's neat about the uh, explosive damage wave, uh, this is also pulling from um, uh, lessons learned with Songbringer, is that the very edge of the damage wave does not do damage to the player or the player's team. So if you have wraiths on your team, then they won't, it, the edge of that damage. So if I, let's see, let's go ahead and like stand a little bit in the damage wave. See, I didn't get hit by that damage wave. I did get hit by the enemy there. So I'll stand in the damage wave. See that? I was right there inside it, and it didn't do any damage to me. Um, but if I go to the center of it, I'll get hit. So I got I got hurt there. I got hurt there. Um, I still need to work on making the damage actually do less damage when um, when I'm standing at the center than it would to a foe. But uh, it's nice to have that uh, that whole system in place because it's actually a lot of code to do this whole damage wave thing and to get it really organized too. Um, as always, I'm trying to like shuffle systems around to make sure that code is in the right place. That's really what I'm going for with this game. I really don't want to change this and this basic engine much at all in the future. Uh, so let's look at how it does an explosive damage wave. It's really just, um, it, uh, like a lot of stuff commented out cause this, this stuff right here is, uh, where it's adding elements like fire and ice to the explosion. Um, and that will eventually be added too. Uh, but for now, I've just focused on the core parts of this. All it's doing is it does an initial damage, and then it, and then it loops over um, and does vertical and horizontal slices of damage over time. So that's why you see the damage wave expand outward over time, is because basically you're, it's doing an, a little horizontal strip here, another horizontal strip there, and then a vertical stri strip, another vertical strip, so that's how that's what all these are right here. It's just setting the positions and then doing explosive damage at that point. So and then also one more thing that I've done recently and I'm really excited about is that I've fixed. Um, so you can see that there's a red, there's a nice clear, crisp red square representing the sword damage right now, and uh, that's because I'm at a zero at a 90 degree angle of the camera. If I rotate the camera 45 degrees, it used to I used to have this horrible problem where um, it would see it would you would see like this interlacing effect going on and I couldn't figure out why until I finally looked at the, all the math and I looked at the colors and how it's adding things and fixed it. So um, basically we have a nice pure crisp 45 degree angle rotated cube right there representing the swords damage. Um, and that was just in model.cpp actually in occlude voxels which is right yeah right here. Um, here, it was writing to the color buffer. So basically what it's doing is it's creating a color buffer, a temporary color buffer that is 2D. And um, it, whenever it detects that it's loading a model that has um, transparency in it, it will go, see right here, it's looking at the at each voxel and it says, oh, look, this voxel is trans partially transparent. It's not, doesn't have an alpha value of 255. Then it goes ahead and um, it used to basically just take the color, um, uh, what was it doing? It wasn't mixing these colors at all. It was just saying the color buffer at the offset plus, oh, that's what it was. It was a uh, color buffer offset um, plus equals voxel dot color. That's what it was doing before. And it was just, uh, that's why I was, it was creating that interlaced effect because it was, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure exactly why it was doing it that way. But when, when I found that I mixed the colors instead, halfway so you take the current color at that at the in the color buffer and mix it with the voxels color by 50 percent it um it does this nice effect where it's all even so anyways that's all for now lots of progress being made and i'm um, excited uh really excited about this game because uh man i just keep getting more and more ideas and this is a really cool fun phase of it so thanks for watching that's it for now check it later